Let's start with this coding exercise by going inside the second page, and we are already inside this one. Then we will replace the list view, all this one, by a list view dot builder. List view dot builder. So once again, the purpose of this uh, coding exercise is to let you know, uh, learn by yourself. So try it by yourself first. If you're really not able to do it, then look at this video and I will explain you all the steps to do it. So the list view dot builder have an item builder. When you go over, you can see that you have a function that is called the build context and the int. So a build context is a context and the in int is an index. So you have to put those two uh, bracket and put inside a context and an index. So as you can see, if we go over once again, the build the item builder take the context and an int and we have pull inside a context and an int. Okay, after you can put the arrow to say what will be inside and what will be inside will be, um, I said the text form field, yeah. So we will add a text form field like this. I will format document. I will put my comma in format document once again. Okay, as you can see, we have infinite right now. What we will need to do is tell Flutter item count and we want 10 right now. So I will format and now we have 10 of, 10 of those. Good. Next step, you can create a text controller, text editing controller. And this one, we will need, uh, of course, the state full widget. So I will right click and I will say refactor and convert to state full widget. Now we can use the uh, text controller. So what we will do is right here before the build, we will say text editing controller. We will call this one the controller and we will say equal to uh, text editing controller. Good. I will put the semicolon. Now what we will do is we will put inside this text field the argument controller and we will pl place inside this one the controller. I will format document once again. Now we have access from the user input. I will put a button at the end. So we have the list view, uh, list view like this. What I will do is I will create, by example, uh, I will create a bottom a bar. So bottom navigation bar. Inside this one, I will put a raised button like this. This raised button will have an empty function for now. And we'll have as well a child saying uh, the information of the user. So right now we'll create a variable. Um, we will say string user input equal to, uh, for now it will be nothing, nothing inside. So what we will say, we'll say the child is user input. Uh, we will need to say text, text our uh, text widget and say user input inside. Good, I will format document. And now when the user will go inside, we'll enter information and we will press on this button, we need to tell Flutter, okay, the user input is now equal to the controller dot, and the dot will be um, controller.text. So it will be, be equal to the text of this text form field. Okay, uh, after that, it's pretty much it, but we need a set state to refresh the build and to let know Flutter that we have a new value inside this one. And this new value is the user input. So now if we press on this button, nothing will appear, but if I write something, it will write uh, the same thing everywhere. And when I will click on this button, I will have the information from all of them. That's it. So that was it for this video. And I hope uh, you understand what we did. If you didn't understand, you can go back inside the video where I explain the controller and where I explain the text field. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, this is this was the text form field, but it is the same. So um, yeah, so you can go back in the video, you can go back in the raise it button, how it worked, how the set state worked, 
how the text form field work, and how the list view that builder work. So that was it. And really, if you didn't, uh, if you were not able to do it, and you listen to this video, you think it's yeah pretty easy when when we saw some someone do it. But try to do it by yourself once again. Quit the video um, and try to do it by yourself. And when you you are on on a place where you don't remember what to do, then um, you just need to to go back in the video. You listen what was your mistake and you learn from them. That's it. So see you on the next video. Bye.